All right, welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where today we are going after radioactive fossils. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure if we have to pick these up from a pickup point or if they're just laying on the ground. I'm assuming it's a pickup point because usually when they're laying on the ground, you get individual pickup markers. <clears throat> but just to be on the safe side, I decided to bring a crane. And, uh, on. Oop, I thought I attached a winch. There we go. Now we have a winch. Uh, and then another thing is I'm I'm guessing that these these secured containers are only one slot uh, big. So I'm taking a little bit of a gamble there. I haven't checked online. I haven't checked Google or YouTube. Uh, I haven't looked at any other one anybody else's playthroughs to see what this entails. So. <clears throat> We are just going to, excuse me, I've got, uh, I ate a granola bar before I decided to, uh, do the recordings today and I keep getting little pieces of granola stuck in the back of my throat. So, uh, anyways, I haven't really looked this up online to see the size of these containers. I'm just, I'm kind of taking a wild guess and saying that they're one. Uh, if they are bigger, then we'll just have to deal with it and uh, possibly get half of them and do this strip twice. Uh, so it's not the not the end of the world if we have to do it twice, but hopefully we can do this in one trip. That's the whole, really the whole point of doing um, trains like this, right? Try to, try to knock everything out at once. Come on, little guys, come on. Actually, it's not such a little guy, so uh, it's a big truck. Oh, we gotta go right here. I should have known that. That's that's okay. I'm I'm taking a wide turn on purpose. That's that's what I'm doing. Everything we do today is on purpose, not like last episode where nothing seemed to go all our way. I <laughs> uh, made made quite a few mistakes, but you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. I was uh, I was actually a little rusty with the game because I took I want to say it was like three or four days off uh, in between episodes, so. Um, well, can't really say I took them off. I just didn't play. <laughs> I was I was doing enough other work, so. Uh, but need, needless to say, I, it's been a while since I played the game, so I was a little on the rusty side, and it showed. Uh, it's it's amazing how fast or how yeah how fast it you get rusty. Uh, just playing this game, so or not playing the game, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Anyways. Alright, so... We've got... Marker there to pick up, but we also have a marker way over there. I am... Kinda at the forks, aren't I? What is going on with my marker? I, I don't understand how it does that. It just randomly picks a random spot. Um... Yeah, so we gotta go to the end of this road and take a right. And then we will, uh... Start heading towards that marker. And this looks like it's going to be a little on the soggy side, so... We might just want to sit back, relax, and, uh... I don't know, put on some easy listening music. From your favorite compact disc player. Yeah, I just... I tried copying a song there. Um, it was actually the intro to an album. That probably came out... I want to say 20, 25 years ago now. Probably 25 years ago now. Maybe more. I could be wrong. Uh, but it was one of the, the one CDs that I listened to forever in high school. With my, uh, my disc man. But you know what? I'm really kind of sad that I got rid of my disc man. I just, you know what? It was just one of those things where you're like, oh, I don't use this anymore. I don't need it. I think I was done with high school at the time, and that was really the only time I ever used one. I mean, I can tell you, I never went jogging with it, so... You couldn't back then. They didn't really have, uh... They didn't really have great anti-skips. In fact, it was... I believe the model I had... Uh, it was a Sony. I don't remember the actual model, but I believe it was a 5-second anti-skip. So, yeah, that was pretty high-tech back then. The fact that you could... 
technically run with it and not have it skip all the time uh, was kind of pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'll give uh, 20 brownie points to whomever can tell me the name of that album or the artist even. And I know I didn't quite say it correctly, but I think I said it close enough to where people, if, if they know the album, they would know. So, uh, I wish I had actual prizes to give away, like, one day, hopefully, maybe. I mean, I've been doing this for a year now, I've got 235 subscribers, it's not a whole lot. I was hoping to, my, my original goal was to have 500 subscribers by my first year, but that didn't quite happen. And I don't know, it, it's one of those things where, should I be playing more games to get more subscribers, or should I just be sticking to one game? Um, you know, and it's, it's, I, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I know a lot of the bigger YouTubers actually play multiple games, but they have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, right? So, um... I think I'm doing it relatively correctly, to say the least. Like, you pick one game and that's what you play. And I'm doing two. Uh, and that's just to keep me sane. Because I think I would lose my mind if I just played SnowRunner. Even though I love the game, uh, it would just absolutely burn me out to the core <laughs> if this was the only game I played, so... Uh, we gotta figure out. Oh, you know what? I guess we're gonna sneak through this way. Can we just bash through these boards? Is it is it possible? Yeah, it is. Oh, I guess I could honk. Yeah, honking. Honking helps a lot. <laughs> and apparently I'm just gonna push this one board. Alright, so it is a pickup point, so that's good. Now tell me there's only a limited amount that I can pick up. Nope. Perfect. We can get two in per vehicle. We will get all six. What are these things? Made out of plutonium? Uh, they probably are, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, they are heavy as... Um, well, they're heavy as AF. No, I didn't say that right. I can do it in attacks very well. I can't say it in, in real life. They're heavy AF. There we go. We got it. Uh, let's... Anyways. Oh my god. Uh, I would not watch me if I was watching myself. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, I realized how mean that was about myself. I don't know what I'm doing. I have to change trucks. There we go. All I know is that these uh, these containers are pretty freaking heavy. And I'm about to put, well, four of them. I, I, I'm tempted to do six or five, five of them. But uh, seeing how heavy they are, like look at that. I am just straight up sinking and we have to get around the mud. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure this one out. Let's uh let's change trucks. Let's get the az off out of the way. And we can hopefully winch this guy. Uh do I wanna go that way? That looks like it would be kinda hard to make that turn. Yeah, that's going to be really hard to make that turn. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I mean, that... Yeah, what the heck? Why don't we go that way? It seems a little strange. But we're going to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and then get on that road. Or maybe we'll go that way. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Let's actually swing around. I'm going to back up a little bit. Let's 
smack into a really old log cabin. And let's try to get this truck just a little bit closer. There we go. Yeah, let's let's try to uh, let's try to go through here. Why not? If I remember correctly, because I'm pretty sure I have been through this route before. This is just a hilly, bumpy dirt road, and that means that we can go a little bit faster than normal. There's dangerous uh, radioactive signs everywhere. Uh, I wanted the lower trail, I should have known. I think we can just sneak back through here. There we go, perfect. We're back on track. And yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I wish more roads were like this where they're just they're more dirt than they are mud. I just find a lot of these roads are just mud just to slow you down. I'm like, does it really matter? You know, I make it I I, I, I like the making it tough part, but like when you're on a road that's solid mud, that's just sometimes it's too much. Like, I like this where it's like, oh, it's a dirt road, and then you run into mud puddles or water puddles or uh, this contraction here, which is a bridge. And you gotta make sure that you get everything on. Yeah. You know, I, I, I prefer this type of trail, hands down. Michigan had more of these trails, and I would just have random, you know, large mud puddles and things of that nature, so... Um... You know, I think I'm just gonna go to the left here. I feel like... I feel like it won't be too bad. Although the road is literally right there, isn't it? Ah, whatever. It's fine. We should be okay, right? Like... We should be fine. Famous the last words, right? Especially if those last words were uh, in the last episode. Yeah, we, we would not have been fine. I somehow would have rolled over here. Somehow. No clue how, but somehow I would have. Yeah, see I like where... You know, there's just a little bit of mud here, and it, it does slow you down, and it creates a problem, and makes it harder. But not everything has to always be so hard, right? Like, you want the game to be a challenge, but you also want it to be fun, and... Crawling at a, you know, low negative speed is just, you know, it's very demanding and not very much fun. Uh, so we just go left here. And here we go again. We've got a little bit more mud. Well, that's good. We're probably just gonna slowly pull ourselves through it. That's not too bad. Yeah, even that little mud puddle, it wasn't very deep, it didn't slow us down that much, but it still created its own challenge. And this, this road, it's dirt, but it has ruts, so it, you know, throws you off a little bit. And sometimes the ruts can actually tip you over, so that's, uh, you know, a challenge of itself, so. 
There's a lot of different uh, aspects and challenges that can be presented where it just doesn't have to be pure mud. Not to mention, technically, we could break up the convoy now. Um, where are we here? We are here. We could have went around that way. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll still go straight through here. I'm going to go up the middle of the map instead of going around the perimeter of the map. And yeah, we may... We may attempt to do this without the, uh... Without the Azov. We don't need to bring it with us. We can even steal some of the fuel out of it to refuel if there isn't a fuel point around here. So yeah, let me, uh, I'm gonna drop this truck off here. We'll head in here, we'll drop off the, uh, the radioactive material that's probably going to be made into a weapon of some sort. And yeah, look at that, we, uh, We've got this part done. Okay, that's taken care of. We can go ahead and let's, let's shut down the truck first. Jump into the Sega. And there we go again with the marker. There we go. And, ooh, yeah, you know what? Let's jump into the Azov. I totally forgot about fuel, even though I just said it two seconds ago. We're going to park this up right here. And when we drive by it, we will fuel up. We ended up using almost all the fuel in this truck anyways. Uh, so I, you know what, that would be a nice little test to do too, is to see if the truck that we're pulling uses the same amount of fuel as if you were to just drive the truck the same distance by itself. That might be another test that I can come up with. Um, so yeah, we ended up using all the fuel out of there, so... Hopefully this is enough. If I remember correctly, we're not far away from a fuel point, aren't we? I mean, I guess it's there. We are past it. Well, you know what? Let's get going. We'll deal with fuel later. And yeah, I'm stuck. There we go. Apparently first gear isn't uh, very low. It makes me a little nervous for this truck. I was pretty much on flat ground. On dirt and it couldn't accelerate forward. Well, we're gonna see what happens. this way come on Get to some hard ground avoid cracking into the building see how we just we just get stopped man I'm pretty sure I have a good decent engine in this thing too could be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure we upgraded as far as we could go. If not all the way. 
Maybe high gear will be beneficial. Yeah, I think that, uh, I think this is working nicely. Ah, uh, wait, crap, hold on, time out. I don't know why, I was thinking that's where we had to drop it off. That is not anywhere near where we need to drop it off. But, we are gonna go that way just to pick up some fuel. It is gonna take us a little bit out of the way. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm gonna try to go around that stump. I I am not dealing with stumps this episode. Alright, let's pull into here. We really don't need any repairs. I think. Yeah, but you know what? Let's uh let's go ahead and do the repairs anyways. Boom. And boom. I, I I honestly I was just showing off there. Yeah, that was that was me just showing off. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's get through this mud. I was just thinking too, it hasn't rained in a while. Oh. And we just bottomed. Come on, there you go. There's really nothing around here to help us. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Come on, find some firm ground. Come on, or at least get to the trees. Yeah, see that kind of screwed us over there. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can give a little boost from the back. Without flipping us over. There we go. Usually if you slow down the tire speed, you can crawl up onto what you normally could just dig out of. Come on. And I was too busy messing around with it and got stuck. We have absolutely no winch points. We are slowly moving. I'm gonna shoot for this grass. Maybe we'll go away from the grass and stay away from that stone. Come on, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're gonna make it. Okay, cool. Go ahead and winch into the telephone poles. Oh, that's a tree, so that doesn't really count. There we go. Now we're off. Perfect. Okay, so we are we're losing sunlight again. But we are seconds away from getting on the asphalt where we will 
stay on asphalt until we get to where we're going. So that's a bonus. All right, well, you know what's kind of funny is that I was talking about how this is a uh, radioactive material that will be used as a weapon. Yeah, they're, they're probably radioactive dinosaur bones, considering it's called radioactive fossils. I mean, knowing Russia <laughs> is probably horrible to say. But they would say it was radioactive fossils when really it's just radioactive material that they plan on using to turn into bombs. I mean, why would you deliver fossils to a factory, right? Kinda doesn't make sense. And then these fossils are going to a train station, so you could argue they're going to a university or a place to where, where they could be studied. Uh, but yeah, the factory, that's that's what throws me off. That makes me think that uh, that's not quite fossils. Maybe there's some fossils. Anyways, it's kind of a silly, a silly thought process of mine. All right, we are almost there. Which means, I believe after this mission, we are just doing logging from here on out. And my first logging truck will be the Bandit. Um, somebody had suggested that I use that for a logging truck. They say it's their favorite logging truck. I don't know, I don't know. The, the thing that gets me is the tiny fuel tank in it. That's that's where it's going to hurt. It doesn't seem very powerful enough, but it might just work for cargo. So, but let's, uh, or logging. Let's get this cargo taken care of. So there's uh, $69,000, or $6,900. 730 points that don't matter because we are maxed out. Which is weird. I don't know why they would have done that. I, I have no clue why they would have done that. You think the point system would have been calculated correctly? At least for the base game. Uh, maybe not necessarily the the other one, the uh, the add-ons or the years. All right, so we're gonna drop logs off there and pick them up there or there. Um, I think I'm going to pick them up from here because it's closer to where we have to drop them off. That's just kind of common sense to me anyways. That, that makes the most sense. Um, but let's go ahead and... You know what? Let's drop this off. We're going to take this tractor trailer. We're going to go ahead and back it all the way up. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get it off the railroad tracks before well, a railroad comes. Or a train comes. Sorry, that, uh, the box there that was kind of glitched. I don't know if you guys saw that. That threw me off while I was thinking. Um, that's how easily my mind can think of... Or, or change what it's thinking about, so... It's probably... ADHD or something along those lines. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Uh, what do we got here? Let's let's drop this trailer off and then we'll recover this truck. Let's recover. Let's uh let's pick the mission first actually. Did we don't think we actually activated it. No, we didn't. Okay, so let's six medium logs. Six medium logs? Are you kidding me? Alright, well. Let's go to customize. That's the large. That's the short. 
This truck does not do medium. Okay, cool. Uh, truck storage. The bandit. Oh, the bandit is still missing. Well, it's not really missing. It's just out and about, isn't it? What can the Dan do? Can the Dan do customize? No, it cannot do medium logs either. It can do long logs, but it can't do medium logs. All right, well. Ooh, let me try to get a little bit more comfortable. Uh, let's leave the garage. Oh, whoops. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's uh, put that truck away. Let's put that truck away. Customize. I think this one's still a fuel carrier or a cargo container or a log carrier. Is it? What size logs can this do? Hmm. Strange. I think we're going to use this as a fuel carrier. We're going to keep it a fuel carrier. Uh, let's go into truck storage. The dairy, I don't think, I don't even think the dairy can do medium logs. No, it can't. Just long logs. The Azov? What can the Azov do? Long logs. Medium logs, yay! Okay, we've got one truck. It can also do short. So this guy, which is red, we're gonna fire this up. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this because I think we're gonna not have enough space. So we'll try it anyways. Okay, we've got two medium log setups here. That's good. We can go with that rig. Stop the engine. The Azov. Let's go ahead and re cover that. Customize. I believe this one will also do medium logs. Nope. This one only does long logs. Okay, so that can get restored. Uh, we need to find... That Azov is sitting right there pretty. We need to look for our uh, vehicle. No. Oops. Global map. There's no trucks there, there's one truck there, there's two trucks there. So Zimogorsk. Oh, that's just the Yar. So they must be in the rift. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So we have this truck here. We are going to have to recover this truck. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, recover. We're going to have to go back to the Rift. We're going to have to recover the Bandit. Because that's really the one I want to try. Let's see here. Okay, so I can do long logs. Can it do this and that? Can. Is that important? Because I don't log... I don't load logs. Sounds weird, but I don't load logs. Uh, so it does short and mediums. Okay, that's cool to know. And obviously it does logs, so... Uh, let's go ahead and throw that on. Why not? But we will uh, now retain that. We will jump into the rift again. We will grab the bandit because that's that's the truck's supposed to be good. I, I don't know if it is. I don't know if it isn't. So let's detach the trailer. Let's recover. Let's uh, speed this process up a little bit. 
Customize variations. Yeah, it does short. Oh, it does short. Ah, <gasps> somebody lied to me. So it is long and short. So I guess we won't see what this does until we uh, have to do short logs. All right, cool. Well, let's go to the drowned lands. Let's go back to the garage. And I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll, we're, we're going to be doing an Azov train convoy, however you want to say it. Um, so this guy here. Is the only other one that can do medium logs, huh? And yeah, we have the power to weight ratio of S. You know what? Let's try. It's going to suck gas a little bit more, but maybe, maybe it will be better. All right, and uh, customize. We're going to go with the same red color. We're going to try to do four logs at once. We are um, insane. All right, well, let's uh, let's call that a night. And uh, yeah, we're going to take off in the morning. This Azov is going first. It's got 53 gallons. That is it. This Azov has 93 gallons. There's a big difference in fuel tanks. All right, well, let's let's since we have this lined up the way it is, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and... Use it. Uh, we're gonna attach the winch. And we are off to, uh, pick up some logs. This is going to be a massive project. And yeah, you guys can guess it. It is going to go pretty, pretty slow. In fact, um, right off the gate, we are kind of stuck. Yep, we uh, totally bounced off that tree back there, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. And there is one little thing I want to try doing. It's kind of cheatish, cheatishy. Is that a word? Cheatishy. Um, I don't know if it's really gonna make sense to try it here because of the uh, the trailers and the beds. But you, if you unpack three logs, or if you if you load three logs and pack them, it fills the entire thing up. So if I un unpack them and just carry them loose, can I keep them in the bed? Will they stay in pretty well? And then once I get to my destination packet and then get um, hit with the weight, because I'm assuming when you have a full load, that weight's different than just having three logs in the bed. That's kind of my, uh, my guess. My hypothesis wait I could have picked up logs from there oh, I totally missed that I totally missed that all right well you know what we're almost here oh I feel so stupid oh well I I had no clue that I could have pick up logs back there as well. I knew there was the two spots on this side of the map. 
I must have not have seen it because I was in that area. Oh well. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me. And I must have heard it from the future. Oh man. It's alright, we'll just go... We'll just take it nice and easy. If I go into high gear, is that going to be better or worse? If I go into auto, is that better or worse? Low plus, that's probably worse. I think high gear is probably the good, good speed right now because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, being an auto, it just constantly wants to switch gears and that just screws things up. Boy, this is uh, this is gonna be a long logging these trucks. These log, long log logging trucks. Say that ten times fast. It's gonna take a long time to do this logging mission. Right, I think I have these set up to where they should just crawl right through the mud. Might be a different story once they're lo or, uh, loaded down. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Get a nice little shove from the back there to help us uh, get through. Come on, give us another bump. Thank you. I think I might separate because this is going to be a little, little tricky to get through here with the uh, convoy. I'll keep them nice and close just in case. Okay, we do have fuel here so we can get some gas. That's probably a smart thing to do when we come back through. Not gonna make that turn. Uh, let's go back into auto. Now, the worst part about this one is there's no turnaround. Ah, <gasps> no. Oh, okay, good. All right, well. Wait, why did it jump from? Not enough space for automatic loading? What are you talking about? Oh, this truck. 
You're joking. All right, well, let's... Let's try the other as off. So apparently there's not enough room. I can pull the trailer, I just can't load the trailer. So I'm hoping I can load the other trailer. Oh, I do not want to do this six times. There is a limited amount of logs from this, uh, this place. And apparently... Hmm. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll repair. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? This truck looks like it should be fine. Oh, let's, uh, turn off the handbrake. That, uh, that usually helps. <laughs> Still can't make that turn. I am not gonna lie, I see this thing saying Not enough space for automatic loading. What does that mean? Let's detach the trailer Oh no, that's what it meant. Oh, I was putting it on... Shoot. Hmm, I'm not- I'm not liking this at all right now, guys. Um... I was putting it over there... To manually log... To- to load these up. That's not what I wanted to do. And these are like $13,000 trailers. All right, let's try to navigate through this nightmare. Nope, there's two giant logs right there. Stumps. This is where the game gets so frustrating because I didn't pay attention. There's a limited number of logs. I was wondering why was saying what it was saying. And I don't have a crane, so I can't pick up those logs that are now sitting there. So now we have a, um, a dilemma. You know, why don't I just... Uh, I don't want to delete these logs. I 
can unpack them and hope they don't go anywhere. Like I said, as long as you have three logs. Go ahead and prepare the truck. As long as you have those three logs in there, you can repack them. And it will fill up the entire trailer. Let me see something first. Uh, let's jump into the garage. We gotta find a truck that can do medium logs. I don't think this one could. Could it? Those are short logs. You know what? Let's just take this truck out. I want to see if the logs over here are limited or not. Because right now, we need five more logs. Yeah, that just that just happened. <laughs> but luckily, oh, uh, luckily, we can get out. All right, pay attention now. And I'm, I'm talking to me, not you guys. Okay, so we have a nightmare of a uh, puddle here. Not too bad. <clears throat> Please tell me that this is not limited. Okay, this one is not limited. And I don't have that. And it doesn't have lock. Okay, so we're 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 okay. So let's recover this. Let's just leave the garage. We'll throw this over here somewhere. And get it out of the way. We have to go all the way back. Because we royally screwed up. And yes, I'm including you guys in on this because you did not tell me. <laughs> you told me about the one thing from the future and that was great and it was amazing. You know, let's just pull this forward. So now we got to go all the way back. Actually, you know what? Trailer store. Let's, uh, let's return that $14,000 trailer. We'll change trucks. We will... You know, let's just leave those logs on there. Why not? Screw it. We're gonna see if they uh, if they fall off easily. Why not? Let's let's do a little mini test. We'll do a proving grounds in this episode because we do not have that much time left, and we royally screwed up again. And I feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> like I feel like it's my first time I've ever played SnowRunner. All right. Uh, let's get rid of that log trailer. Now we can take these two vehicles back. First, we're getting gas. Okay, so I definitely want to make sure that I remember... ...or pay attention to when I'm selecting where I'm loading the trailers. <clears throat> I, I, I thought it said I had three, and I only took one in the trailer. And then it said there was not enough room, and that's because I, I had loaded it there, and yeah. Just just made too many rookie mistakes. Change the truck. Let's you know what? This truck doesn't need gas. Let's just get all let's get a move on. And uh let's change trucks again. Catch the winch. And let's let's get the heck out of here and go back to uh, where we came. We gotta get back to where we came. That is 
Oh, you know what? I have the wrong tires on this truck. Hmm. That might not be a bad idea to switch tires. Wait a minute. I'm a moron. Let's uh remove that cargo. Yeah, I was gonna waste all this time doing this, guys. And like I said, I'm a newbie. I have no clue what I'm doing. But let's uh let's recover this truck. We will also recover this truck. And now we don't have to drive back as far because we were able to sell the trailers. Uh, so let's leave the garage there. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here. We are going to... Uh, we're going to attempt the east wind on the next episode. I wasted a lot of time on this episode. But it's because I screwed up. And yeah, so I screwed up. That's fine. At, at least we now can, um, well, we at least can uh, figure out what we're doing and know what we're doing and do it correctly. So we're going to end this episode a little bit shorter than normal, not too far. And uh, yeah, we're going to attempt this up or attempt this logging mission in the next episode. So we will see you then. Bye for now.